All right, we've been burying the lead here. After a 5-3 victory Wednesday to open the series in Toronto, the Lake of Thunder Rolls will back home tonight for Game 2, staring down a golden opportunity to win their first playoff round in eight years, doing so in front of a sold-out crowd. For the highlights, here's Kurt Black. Not a free seat in the house Friday night, as for the first time in 4,731 days, Fort William Gardens was sold out for Game 2 between the Thunder Wolves and Varsity Blues. After getting the night off in Game 1, Thunder Bay's Christian Chichigoy between the pipes for Lakehead, while at the other end, it was Jet Alexander making a second straight start after allowing five goals on Wednesday. And the T-Wolves would nearly bring that total to six in the first, but Keegan Gary cannot finish off the pretty passing play as we would be scoreless after one. But after LU, Spencer Blackwell drew a crowd after taking the feet out from under Alexander, the T-Wolves would head to the power play, where Griffin Fox would bring the sellout crowd out of their seats, spotting Greg Smith back door to open the scoring. It's 1-0 Wolves. But then less than a minute later, Lakehead would head to the penalty kill, thanks to a questionable decision from Jeff Dempster, to say the least. And U of T would make the T-Wolves pay, as Owen Robinson's shot from the slot beats Chichigoy, bringing us back even heading to the third. And the Blues would stay hot out of the break as Ross Krieger would give them their first lead of the night off a perfect shot into the top right corner, making it 2-1. But the T-Wolves were not going away, and with six minutes left to play, they would pull things even thanks to an unlikely source. That right there was Noah Massey's first goal all season long, and boy was it a beauty blowing the roof off the old barn, and just like that, we're heading to overtime. Unfortunately though, with their season on the line, Krieger would play the role of overtime hero 18 minutes into the extra frame, scoring his second of the game, sending us to a do or die game three Saturday night, back at Fort William Gardens. Kurt Black, TBT Sports.